To put a bit more context around this mining tour, Africa Mining Forum was hosted in Rwanda in 2019 and is now evolving to serve its audience with a wider information and knowledge sharing opportunities. And a warm welcome from myself. I am particularly excited to introduce today's session, the first of four in a series that will take our audience through a mining tour or journey across the African continent. And we are starting today in East Africa, looking at we, what we consider to be some of the hottest mining destination spots. Our objective is to highlight and unpack these mining spots in the region that may not be on investors' mining radars. Um, why should investors in the industry be interested? Well, first and foremost, it's a growth region. Um, it's experienced the, the fastest growth anywhere of any region on the continent over the last, um, the last five years. Finally, the geology and the mining potential. So actually, the region as a whole is relatively underexplored, unexplored, with very little uh, geophysical survey. Um, if I reference just um, in the case of, um, of Rwanda, I think that um, there, um, there's a recognition, uh, oh, sorry, I mean Ethiopia, there's a recognition so much more geophysical surveying to do. They reckon that um, the gold deposits there could make uh, Ethiopia one of the biggest producers in the world, something perhaps that the Queen of Sheba was, uh, was aware of 3,000 years ago, when of course that was her home are at the beginning of quite a momentous global um, industrial and technological transformation, um, an energy power mobility revolution um, towards renewable energies, sustainable energies and electric vehicles. And this has enormous relevance to demand and supply equation for a range of what we call technology metals. The last uh, decade in, uh, in Ethiopia and have uh, had some uh, some uh, achieved some success there. Uh, we've uh, discovered 1.8 million ounces of gold. We have uh, in three closely uh, <coughs> three deposits that are uh, located very close to one another. Peak and PRNG, which is uh, the uh, uh, Tanzanian company, have been active uh, since 2010 and uh, done a lot of work and a lot of engagement with the regional and local groups. Uh, have a very positive uh, uh, relation with them. We've done a lot of work with the Mining Commission and the Minister of Minerals. Um, lithium is an interesting one. You know, lithium is a key ingredient of obviously the battery, electric vehicle, renewable energy um, um, transformation. Um, there is some very interesting hard rock lithium of potential. 37% of our audience said Rwanda. 24% said Ethiopia and 27% said Tanzania. So interesting results coming from that.